All right, guys, um, I'm going to explain the next um, special effects project. So it is called Collage, and uh, most ki kids really like it a lot. Um, I think it's a fun one to do. So what we're going to do is um, cut this picture apart and put it back together. Um, you could put it somewhat exact, or you could mess it up a little bit like a puzzle. It's up to you what you want to do, but uh, it's pretty hard to make a preconceived design before you do this. You could try to, but I think it's best if you probably just go in there, start messing around, and see if you can come up with something interesting. All right, so uh, it's a pretty easy process. So I have my image open, all right, and I have a template open, 11 by 17. Okay. So what I want to do to begin with is go over here to my rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just going to go somewhere. Okay, I, I might start in the middle. Okay, and I'm just going to make an, a um, rectangle here. Okay, you can make a square by pressing the shift key if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit wider. Something like that. So you don't want to go too big. You could go a little bit bigger than that. You could definitely go smaller than that. Okay, so this is my first piece. Now when I move it over to the template, I need my move tool. So my move tool is the top right. All right, then I'm gonna click and drag it over, keep my mouse down, bring it down and drop it right in here, okay? So you can put it wherever you want to. Uh, to begin with. By the way, I started off with an edited picture, so you want to go into your edited folder and open up that JPEG, or not the JPEG, open up the PSD and flatten that and then start with that file because that's going to be your best file as far as quality goes. Okay, then I'm going to go back here. Now, some kids will say, well, I want to use that same exact um, dimension here. Well, if that's the case, then go ahead and grab the marquee tool again, the rectangular marquee tool. Go inside here, and then you can move this around so my next piece could be right there. I don't want to do that. I want to make all the pieces a little different. So I'm going to uh, make sure that I undo that. I want to overlap somewhere in here. So I'm going to go down to this corner right here. I overlap that. I'm going to do a little bit longer piece. Okay, grab my move tool, move it up and in. All right, now I could align this if I want to. That's how it aligns. Or else I could like just throw it in there and stagger it wherever I want to and mess these pieces up. It's sort of up to you what you want to do there. Okay, so I'm just going to throw it in there, something like that. All right, go back to this one. There's my piece. I'm going to go back to where I started. Undo Command Z so I get back. And then I'm going to click my marquee tool. Maybe I'll go in here, over in this corner. And this time I'm going to go right there. Okay, I could grab my move tool. Drag it up and in. Okay, since I didn't align the uh, this one, I'm not going to align this one either. So I'm just going to throw it in here up like that. Okay, you just keep piecing it together until you get something you really like. All right. Now you could keep it just like this. Okay. Maybe throw a drop shadow on each of these so it has no border. So I'm going to go to like layer three it doesn't really matter i'm going to double click that on the empty part of the layer right here i have drop shadow i can click drop shadow that gives me a predetermined drop shadow but i can go in here and decide how dark i want it okay i'm going to go somewhere in the 60s you can determine where you want that shadow to fall where the light source is coming from i'm going to go like that Distance, you can 
figure out how far the distance you want and then spread spreads that out which i wouldn't do okay and size is going to soften it okay so i'm going to soften it just a little bit take the distance out just a little bit i'm going to darken it all right now i don't have to do that again for the other ones you want to wait and throw the drop shadows when you're completely done Okay, so now what I do is to get it to these other two uh, pieces or layers, all I do is hold the Option key and drag this FX symbol down and drop it on that layer. That will copy it over. Hold the Option key down, drag it down. Now I have this drop shadow uh, going throughout. Okay. Now if you want to select one of these, you just right click select layer two, right click, select layer one, right click, select layer three. Okay, it will most likely be on the top of what you want selected. You don't have to go over here and select each layer. So for example, I don't like these two uh, on top of this one, so I want to throw this one behind. So I'm going to right click, that's my layer two, so I'm going to throw that up. I'm going to throw it down below layer one. So now I have like a stacking order that I like better. Okay, then I can move that around however I want to. Okay. All right. Um, the other thing you can do is put a little border on that if you want to. So if I go to one of these layers, doesn't matter what layer I start off with. I usually start with the top one. I'm going to double click that again. This time, I'm going to leave that drop shadow, but I'm going to go stroke. All right. um, always go to the inside because if I go to the outside, it's going to round the corner, which I don't want. I want a square corner. So I'm going to go inside like that. I'm going to beef it up just a little bit and just leave it black like that. I'm going to press OK. And to get that to my other ones, remember I press Option and drag down, Option, drag down. So now it's got a drop shadow and it's got that little border around it, which in my opinion looks, looks pretty cool. Okay, other people have done two strokes. So I'll show you what that looks like. So if I double click back on here, notice I have another stroke here, okay. Um, if you don't see another stroke, all you have to do is press this, this uh, plus button. That will give you another stroke. Okay, now if I click on this, now don't just check it. You click on it so you get your settings up here. Okay, so I click on this stroke. Uh, this time I want the color to be white inside again, and you can see what that does. Okay, so I'm going to give it a little inside, but thinner. That looks good. Um, press OK. And then I can go ahead and carry that out to the other ones by pressing Option and dragging that effect down to the other ones. Okay. Another thing you can do is if you want to tilt these, um, all you have to do is transform them. So if I click on this, right, I can go Command T and I can go outside one of these uh, handles here. And I get this sort of around the bend sort of arrow and I could tilt some of these. Okay, press the return key to take effect. I'm going to right click on that layer 2, command T to get in transformation mode and go ahead and rotate that a little bit that way. Press the return key. So now I can go ahead and uh, tilt those if I want to, which makes it really interesting. Okay. Now, some of the examples that I showed you had um, certain elements that were increased in size or zoomed in or zoomed out. Um, I think probably the best way to do that is I go to the top of my layers here and I'm going to go ahead and create a new shape layer. So I click on this layer three, the topmost layer, whatever that is. And I'm just going to 
create like a placeholder with a rectangle tool. Okay, so let's say I want my box here. Okay, and I can change the size of this in anything I want. I just want it as a placeholder. Now, right now, I'm just going to come up here to the fill, and I'm going to fill it with black, and I'm going to have no stroke on it. So the stroke is going to be zero. So there's my rectangle right there. Now, uh, what I want to do is go over to my image and pick a new selection that I want. So let's say um, I want a selection right in there. I'm going to bring it over like usual. And I'm going to put it somewhere by this box or over the top of this box somehow. Now notice the rectangle is right below this layer 4. So to clip that into the shape, what I can do is go Option, hold the Option key down, and hover over that line between those two. And notice I get this clipping symbol. And that is going to clip this picture into that rectangle shape, which is exactly what I want if I want to keep the shape the same, basically, but I want to change the inner part. So to get it to look like the other ones, I just hold the Option key, drag the FX symbol up here, and let's see, oh, I'm sorry, drag it to the rectangle, right like that. So it looks like regular, right? But now I can go and click on this topmost layer, which is the picture inside this frame, and I can go Command-T, and instead of making the whole box bigger, I'm just making the picture inside of it bigger. Okay, so I'm just dragging a corner handle, and let's say I want to make it really big and zoomed in. Okay, I'm going to go maybe right to there, and press the return key. Okay, now let's see if I can rotate this. So if I rotate this, um, I'm going to need to link those two together. So I'm going to click this one and click the rectangle and click this little link icon. All right? Then I'm going to go Command T and then I can rotate that whole image if I want to. So a little bit trickier when you have to zoom something in, or if you want to zoom something in, um, but still pretty simple. Okay, I think that is it. Um, remember, if you don't want, if you decide, you know what, I don't want that white line, then just go to one of those. So again, I'll go to layer three, and. Um, I'll look at, okay, I don't want this stroke right here, so I'm going to click and drag it to the trash can. But now I have to remember that I have to option drag to the rest of those layers so it copies that new one over. Okay. I want you to do um, three finished ones minimum, okay, and I'm going to print those um, large 11 by 17. Hope that helps.